Hi, good morning everybody. My name is attorney Charles Zavala from Zavala, Texas Law here in beautiful Houston, Texas. We are an immigration law firm. We also handle criminal defense as well as business matters. Uh, today I'm going to do a video regarding immigration. This is about how a person or an immigrant can acquire what's called a green card or legal permanent residence through marriage, okay? So this video only applies to people who have married a U.S. citizen or a resident, okay? So let's start off with that. So first off, we're gonna ask, what is a green card, right? What is a legal permanent residence? So if you're from another country, essentially the USA says, listen, if you marry someone from our country and you're eligible, you can now come live here in the USA. You're not a citizen automatically. You are what's called a green card holder, LPR, uh, legal permanent resident, all that stuff. And what it is, it allows you to live here, it allows you to work here, and exist here, right? You can still technically be deported if you commit certain crimes, but, you know, assuming you don't commit any aggravated felonies, you should be good. After that, after X amount of years, you can then apply to become a citizen, all right? But step one is we have to get our green card. So let's start with this. Let's First things first, you have to be married, right? If you married a citizen and you are here in this country legally or you entered legally, let's pretend you came here as a tourist, you came here as a student, you came here as a... Um, a, a, any sort of visa except a crewman visa, right? I think that's a very narrow exception. And then you married somebody. It doesn't matter if you're still valid under that visa or that visa expired 15 years ago, but you're still here, right? If that's the case, then we can do what's called adjustment of status. Ignore that term adjustment of status. That's just the term of it. What it means is we are going to change your status from being here unlawfully to a green card holder. And remember, the only reason you're able to do this is because you entered legally at one point. doesn't matter that you overstayed, so that's going to be the biggest thing. If you didn't enter legally, if you entered illegally, this video does not apply for you. I'll probably make another video because it's a different process. This process called adjustment of status, getting a green card, is here in the USA if you entered legally and then married, okay? Or if you were already married and then entered. So, assuming that is your situation, what we have to do is paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. And that's where us here at Zavala, Texas Law, we take care of it. Um, filing with the government is a lot of paperwork. You're going to have to submit G28s, I-130s, I-485, I-864, I-765, G1450s. You're going to have to do a... It's a lot of forms, right? It's kind of like doing your taxes. It's not fun and it's not easy. But that's where us come into play, right? We do this a lot. We're here to take the load off of you. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to gather evidence, right? We'll need to show that you guys are a real relationship, you know? Not just, oh yeah, this is my wife John or my husband John Doe. They're gonna be like, okay, show me your marriage certificate. Do you guys live together? Show me proof you live together. Bank accounts, insurance. Do things married couples do, right? Because there's a lot of fraud that goes on in uh, immigration, right? So they want to make sure that, that works. So we do that, and then this, we're going to submit a bunch of other paperwork. And what's nice is we can also apply for your work permit. And your work permit usually gets approved much quicker than your green card. So during that time, you get to work. You don't have to wait. So that's a... A perk. Another thing we also do here at Zavala Texas Law, I don't know if other law firms do it, we do, we try to do everything, all, all inclusive, right? We're, we're not going to nickel and dime you and say, oh, you know, we charge you this for this form, this for this form. We're going to say, listen, we're going to get your green card, we're going to do the whole packet for you. And that also includes your work permit, and it also is going to include what's called a, a travel permit, right? So what a travel permit is this, that's another form, it's called I-131. Uh, what it is, is because you're here in the country and you maybe you overstayed your visa or, um, yeah, most, most of the times most people overstay their visa, but when you submit an application to immigration, they got this dumb rule that says, oh, well, if you submit it and then you leave the country for whatever reason, they're going to deem your application abandoned. That's not true, right? People travel all the time for different things. You know, somebody might say, oh, well, I'm going to a wedding or oh, I'm going to this, 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 this. So what we like to do is we always like to try for what's, apply for what's called a travel permit, and that allows you to leave and come back in the country while your application's pending, even if you're out of status already, right? So that's kind of a uh, a win-win because we have a lot of clients who, you know, entered, oh, let's see here. We had some that entered in the 90s, believe it or not. You know, and they entered legally and now they're trying to get their green card and we're in the process and they haven't been back to their home country in 20 plus years. So what we do is we apply that travel permit and once they have that, they're allowed to leave and come back without disrupting any process. And that's great to hear when I have clients come back from their home country and say, listen, thank you. I was able to see my grandparents after X amount of years. I was able to see my old friends, blah, blah, blah. So that's really a good feeling. So my advice on this video is, listen, if you entered the USA legally, 
or you're here legally right now and you are married to a resident or a green card holder, you know, there's kind of slightly different rules, but we'll handle that when you call us. Um, you are eligible to change to a green card. And I think that is nothing but a perk and an advantage, right? You don't have to abandon your old country. You don't have to do anything like that. It's nothing but an advantage. So I would say to you guys, if this is something you're interested in, or if you know somebody or something along those lines, please give us a call. My name is Charles Zavala. All our information is there at the bottom of the screen. Our law firm's called Zavala Texas Law. There's um, all our social media, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, I think Google, my also, if you Google Zavala Texas Law, that's our business, give us a call. We're more than happy to schedule you a free phone consultation, figure out what's going on, and see how it is that we can help you. Um, one of the questions I get a lot is, oh, well, Charles, how are you? I mean, I see you're in Houston, but we're over here in uh, Miami. We're over here in, uh, I think the furthest case we've ever done was Alaska. It doesn't matter, right? Because immigration is federal law, so we handle cases everywhere, right? So don't worry about that. We're more than happy to help you. And now with the cool invention of the internet and email and all that stuff, we can send documents uh, to each other, to client, um, attorney, via email, and saves everybody time, all right? So if you like these videos, feel free to give us a thumbs up, a like, or if you have questions, feel free to put them down there. You know, I will try to answer them. And then sometimes the, the community also answers them, you know? And that's great because um that's you know people can give their own reaction to what happened and how how they were able to handle it but other than that ladies and gentlemen thank you for stopping by i know there's a lot of videos on the internet but thanks for uh, watching this one once again my name is charles zavala our law firm is called zavala texas law here in houston texas here to help you with any immigration criminal or business needs thank you and have a great day